Welcome to empties for the month of July and August. The last time I published an empties video was on June 30th. So I am due. I am due to share my empties. Most of you here watch my videos on repeat, so you're very familiar with my empties. Everything will be linked in the description box below this video. You can also check out, and I highly recommend, the top link, which is the corresponding blog post and always your easiest place to shop from. You already know I am a creature of habit. When I love something, I stay loyal. I don't work with brands. Very seldom do I have something sent to me once in a while, and I definitely will use the product until it's gone, even if I'm not in love with it. Um, I like to give it the full test and have the opportunity to save some of the product that I have. But I always share here if I tried something new and if I would recommend it or not. So let's dive into empties for July and August. Starting with a favorite of all of ours, skincare. First product is Egyptian Magic All Purpose Skin Cream. I use this product to remove my eye makeup. That's the only purpose for it, and I've used it for years. It works great, and it really keeps the eye and the lashes moisturized, which I feel is very important. Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. These are the little singles that come in the little individual packets. I always purchase this to have these little towelettes on hand for when company stays, uh, if Chloe has a friend overnight, if my daughter Haley comes home for a weekend or a few days, I like to ha have these on hand. And then I also put these in my PM skincare travel bag. You know I remove my makeup on my way home in the evening when we come home from someplace. Tonight we have a swim meet to attend for Pips for Chloe and I already have my PM skincare bag for on the go. I will do my PM skincare routine on the way home from there while Paul is driving and I always keep these towelettes in there. If I'm doing my PM skincare at home, we're not out and about with my to-go bag. I don't use these because I don't need them, but they're great for travel. And when I recently took a trip to Boston to visit my daughter, Haley, this is what I packed. And ironically, she kept saying, do you have extras? And she would use them up. And I did pack extras because I kind of predicted that would happen. Glycolic acid 20% resurfacing pads. These have been on repeat for many years. Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Also have used this product on repeat. I am currently using Colleen Rothschild uh, Exfoliator daily in the shower and wow, do I love that. I have to see the difference between the prices or maybe I'll just continue to use both because I didn't have another one of these. When Sephora has their fall savings event, which typically falls in November, I most likely will stock up on this, but I am really loving the Colleen Rothschild, and that's what's in my shower right now. Um, this gentle cleanser, which I don't know where the lid is, but it's the ZO Skin Health Gentle Cleanser. I don't know if ZO Skin must be the brand. Um, I believe this was like a gift with purchase, so I used it for my on-the-go skincare or traveling. It was a lovely product, but I don't put a lot of value in cleansers only because they really just cleanse. They really don't do anything to the skin other than, than, than clean. So a lot of it for me is the texture and this was lovely. Moving on to hair care, we have the Joico Color Balance Blue Shampoo, which is for brunettes. It eliminates brassy orange tones in lightened brown hair. This was recommended by my um, hairstylist, Lori. Uh, can I say that I noticed a difference? I don't really know. I, I mean, I just, 
I don't, I don't really pay that close attention, honestly, to different things about my looks. I just, it takes time. <laughs> so I, I love it. it, it works, it's great, I'll keep purchasing it, but can I say I notice a difference? No, I guess I'd have to ask her, but um, I will link the conditioner as well. So recommend it if, you, if your hair wants to pull brass, which mine has a tendency to want to do that. This product to me is a must have. I used it today. It's always on repeat. I can't be without this, so I always make sure I have a couple in the can. It is by, I think, Tressa. Hmm. Yes, Tressa. It is the Watercolors Root Concealer. It covers roots in seconds, and this is just a temporary spray, and I use dark brown. So what happens with me, actually, I have a whole video where I cover the topic. I'll put the thumbnail and a card in right here, but I do have, I, I, that video will show you, or, or probably talk in more detail, but it's really around my hairline and then where my part is that the gray is the most noticeable. I go next week, so one week from today, I have a appointment for a color touch-up. So when I get close, I like this. I actually have three products that I use. I use this one this morning. So it's really just spraying a little bit where the grays come through. And I, I'll tell you, I truly believe that Gray hair is aging. So I know some people have chosen to go gray and by all means, you do you. Um, that's your personal preference. When my gray shows, I, I look older, not necessarily older, maybe my age, but it's more youthful. Maybe that's the best way to say it. I look more youthful. I always say we all look our age, right? I mean, I look my age. I just, I look great for my age is how I look at it. Some people look great for their age. Some you know, look more, look more unkept maybe is the best, best word. And I mean that more internally, like diet, exercise, sun exposure, lack of water, all of those good things. <laughs> That's like a whole different video for another day. If you want me to speak more on it, sure, I would love to. I'm sure I would offend a few people. <laughs> what is YouTube for, right? Um, personally, so I'm just speaking personally, it's more youthful when I cover up even that little bit of gray. And a little hair clip. Every once in a while, I share these. This one broke, so um, <laughs> Junie likes to play with my hair clips, and she, she'll, I can't, it's hard to do because this one's broke off and it hurts my thumb, but We'll open it up and we'll go, baby shark, 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 baby shark, 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 shark. Anyway, she likes to have fun with those. Okay, body and teeth care, starting with the Vita Liberata Tanning Lotion in Natural Tan. Use that up. It's all cut up and it's in this container. Uh, it was a nice product. I, they all, they're all pretty similar. So it, it was nice. Also have Gillette razor blade cartridges. I change my cartridge every three weeks. I keep it on my task list. So when I change my cartridge, I just drag or change the date to three weeks out so that I know to change it again. Paul and I use the same razor, meaning same brand. We don't we don't use the same razor, but um, so when we buy the blades, we buy them in bulk because they we both use the same razor, so it works out really great. Um, let's see, I have the Ole Hendrickson Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer in in the travel size. This was a lovely product. I purchased this for travel and I've used it up and I liked it. I would recommend it. I don't know if it's a splurgy item. I'm going to guess that it is, but it was lovely for travel. And actually, I usually keep these containers, so I probably will keep this and then I can refill it just with whatever body cream I have or something else. Another body cream that I purchased for travel, this was really nice too, is the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Cream. Um, this was lovely as well. Love saving these containers and, and using them for travel. So would recommend that one as well. And then we have Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And then we also have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. 
Paul and I use these. I use either one, either, whatever he picks up, because this is like his purchase. Some, some, some of our products he's in charge of. So when we're getting low, he stocks up on one or the other. I really like the pump. I find it to be convenient. So I really loved this one because of that, but you may be able to, they're probably the same size. So I may just, I think right now we're on to these. I may take this lid off and put it on our container of this, but he keeps one in his get ready area. I keep one in mine. He actually uses it for face and body. Yes, he applies lotion to, I think his legs. And I actually instigated that one time. I don't know, it was a few years ago when he was complaining about his legs being dry. And I said, you don't put lotion on them every day? I can't imagine. I can't get dressed if I don't have lotion on my legs. And then of course, once you start doing it, you love that feel, so you can't stop. But he also uses it on his face, which our dermatologist recommended. So I use it on the face. He uses it on the face. Either one works. They're both great, but I do love the pump. And then we have a Donna Karen cashmere mist deodorant. Always on repeat. I have been using it forever and I will continue to use it forever as long as they keep it around. They now have the aluminum free. So if that is your preference, I can put a link to that. Um, they, they do have that now. I'm just tried and true. I, I want the real stuff. I, I need it all. <laughs> I want the real deal. Um, that's just my experience and I get to. And then these are Paul's pretty much, but I do confiscate them sometimes because he buys them in bulk. And if I need it, I need it. It is the Chapstick Classic Original. Um, I've shared before that on our first date, which would be over 30, over 32, 33 years ago, 33 years ago, um, he had one of these in his pocket. So he's never, he's never been without them. So we all know he has chapstick on him. Even when the girls were growing up, they were constantly going to see dad to use his chapstick. So that so far as skincare, hair care, and body care, we're going to move on to makeup. I almost forgot emptied a couple of boxes of Opalescence Go. Now I have another place that I store these trays, so there's a good chance I didn't empty two. I didn't empty one in each month. I usually, I, I usually whiten my teeth about twice per week, but when I was on vacation, I did whiten them once. Oh, hold on. Sorry, little timer. Um, so I, it, probably a lot of it is because I emptied my stash and a lovely client of mine and, and, and subscriber and viewer reached out to me and she has really sensitive teeth and she wanted to try these. And she said, I just couldn't. I tried everything. I don't have sensitive teeth, so I can't help you if you do, but maybe that will help make your decision. So it was so nice that she sent me the box that she had purchased and said, it's yours. So that was really sweet of her. So I use them. Of course I use them. So I almost forgot about that. Okay. Moving on to makeup. Smashbox Photo Finish. It's a great product. I'm actually using two different primer, face primers by Milk, and I actually like both of them, and I don't know which one I like better. So I will link both of them, and I'll let you decide. But the Smashbox is great as well. And then we have, oh, here was a little trial travel of a Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer. This is just a little sample. This was nice too. So I, I'm having good luck with my, with my face primers. Would recommend that one too. Always on repeat, wearing it today, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I wear 3N1 um, Ivory Beige when I have some color, like this time of the year, or self-tanning. And then I don't know the number, but I think it's Fresco is my shade for more of the winter season if I have no color. But love my Estee Lauder. Um, our Dell Demi Wispy lash Lashes have always been my favorite. 
I didn't use these, but I did use them on other people that I did makeup on. For example, Chloe for her senior picture photo shoot. I used these. So different dances when I do her friends' makeup. Um, I That's what I always choose to use. Tarte Lights Camera Action Mascara, great product. I'm not using it currently. I'm actually using City Beauties um, Mascara. That's a great one. I will have it linked. I love it. They're, mm, I don't know. I guess I don't know. That one is going to be give you more volume and and in thickness where this one's not so i guess it just depends on what you're looking for this is always a tried and true though this is always a tried and true so and i think i have the lights camera lashes uh sample or not sample travel size and it's the waterproof and i like that one as well i guess maybe tart the tart one maybe over city city beauty but i do love the city beauty as well Moving on to home supply, home items, office, um, starting with my daily devotional. I don't know why I have May and June's in here, but, <laughs> and why is, why is this down here? <laughs> my next copy. Well, okay, so let me, here's September and October's. <laughs> I am filming this video on Wednesday. So today is the 30th. So I am a couple of days away. I'm glad I recognize this. I must have somehow <laughs> put my new copy with the old one. So I don't have July and August to show you because it's on it's by my arc trainer where I do my workout. But anyway, it will be an empty. Yeah, I'm, I'm bummed. I could have lost that. That would have really not been good. I have an iPhone charger that just it's it's no longer good. Paul upgraded to more of a lightning, I think it's called, a faster one. Those will be linked um Oh my gosh, the garbage is getting full. Let's see here. Super Sharpie, I just purchased a whole box because I go through these. I always have this attached to my time block, my block schedule for the day. I have one in my workout area. I'm never without it. I don't leave the home without it. I always have it on me. Here's another one. Here's another one, um, but I love the Super Sharpie. I'll talk more about the Time Block Masterclass at the end because that's coming up this Saturday and I don't want you to miss out. So Super Sharpie, I just buy the 12 count. And let's see, we went through some of our Nitro Powder Free Gloves. We use these for many purposes, both in the home, in the garage. The kids use them for different things, so these are great to have on hand. Um, yeah, these are going bye-bye. Love these shoes. Hopefully they're still available. They're by Nike, but I really determine when it's time to say bye-bye to a pair of athletic shoes. The fact that these are so worn, number one, is not good. That is not, it's, it's terrible that I've even gone this long without replacing um, so I recently shared in a Friday newsletter uh, a pair that I purchased. I like to have about three athletic shoes on hand. Also, don't forget to check out my Shop My Recommendations page on my personal brand website. I have some of the shoes on there. These may be there. So these are great, but when the treads are gone, it's time. So check your tennis shoes, your athletic shoes. Uh, it may be time to... to Purchase a new pair. It's it's safer. It's better for your feet. Um, and those are things that I really look into. I, I want to take care of myself in all ways and anything to prevent an injury or putting me at risk is really important to me. And I hope it is for you too. So check your tennies. Okay. I used up a couple like fat burning gels that you can apply to a certain area of your body. Probably... <laughs> Many people would want to apply it to their whole body. I've just always used these under my waist trimmer. Um, like I would apply a little bit of gel under my waist trimmer around my 
abdomen area. That's always been kind of my trouble spot. I think it is for many people, but for others, it could be more the hips or the thighs, the butt. You choose your area. Do I believe these products work? Not for everyone. So people will ask me sometimes about the waist trimmer or something like this. Not everyone is a candidate. It is, if your routine and diet is optimal, then the little added things like this can help tweak. Tweak, that's it. They will not change anything significantly. If you're not doing the work with exercise and diet, because you have to build up a sweat, you've got to get a sweat. That's how these work. They have to be activated with that burn that you're already getting like in your cardio session. If you're not putting the work in though with diet, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your money. Someone like me, yes, that's why I buy them. I actually am out of them and I, I haven't repurchased, just taking a little break. But anyway, the Vaso Burn and the Sweet Sweat. Moving on to supplements, they're all on repeat. I'm not going into detail. Fish oil. Neuromag, magnesium L3 and 8. Citrus cell. Ashwagandha. You know I love saying ashwagandha. Niacinamide. That is vitamin B3. Vitamin C, B12, dandelion root. I don't take all of these every single day, all day, but I have a system. Progesterone prescription. And that is supplements. Um, no, I have a couple more. Hold on. And that would be my BCAA glutamine, BCAA, branched chain amino acids. This is my post-workout supplement. I take a scoop in my water, in my little shaker, post-workout, and then I'll have another one in the afternoon, just because I have a very aggressive workout, cardio strength training, and physical activity routine. There's three components to my routine. I talk more about those three components in the Build Your Workout uh, workshop, which is on the replay tab. You can get that today. And then this coming Saturday, and I talk more about the workshop this coming Saturday. At the end of this video, I will talk um, more about the breakdown of my workouts and how I track them. So these are great. And then I do keep in a pinch because it's better than the alternative. Remember, I haven't went, I, I don't go to fast food. I haven't had fast food. Pips is 17, maybe 15 years. So if I'm in a pinch, it's not going to be fast food. It's going to be like a tuna packet or something like this. I love the premier protein. The cake batter delight is my favorite. I always have these on hand. I think I have like five of these in the refrigerator right now. I'll buy a big bulk. This one was strawberries and cream, but this one's my favorite. And then I am on an auto ship once per month for the raw fountain juices. I will have a link in there. Um, so once per month, I'll do like a three day juice cleanse. In my box, I receive seven days worth of juices. So I'll, I use those up throughout the month. I'll do maybe three days here, maybe three days here, pop a day in here, but I love to do a day of juicing because it makes my life easier and I'm all about that. The other thing I have on auto ship is sizzle fish. My salmon and my crab cakes, I that is on auto ship. I get one shipment per month at the end of every single month. My shipment just arrived a few days ago and I just upped my shipment. I doubled. So now I think I get 28 packages in my box. I joined or I started a subscription or joined a subscription with Sizzle Fish February of 2022 and I love it. It has been a game changer. I eat one salmon at least five days per week. Um, the other two days generally we go out and I'm always going to get fish when I dine out of some sort. So sometimes it's salmon. So the other I have it daily, pretty much daily. So 
I will have a link to Sizzle Fish as well. I also have a coupon code for I think 15% off if you order like a single box. And if you join quarter four, three week intense, which starts November 1st, you will get a special discount with Sizzle Fish, $50 off your first two boxes. So if you sign up for a subscription like what I have, you will get $50 off your first two. That's $25 off your first shipment and $25 off your second shipment. So when they run your credit card or whatever you use, you'll pay $25 less the first month and the second month, which is a total of 50, and then you'll pay whatever it is for um, the, the package that you, that you choose. So I will have that link in the description box as well. Well, there you have it, empties for the month of July and August. Don't forget, links will be in the description box below this video as well as on the corresponding blog post. I will be back in October, I'm guessing, to do my next empties. I feel like two months is a little better than waiting three months. Otherwise, I just have so many products that I've used up. Don't forget, this coming Saturday, September 9th, I'm hosting a workout tracking workshop. That workshop is me sharing the systems that I use to track my workouts, the different categories that I track, also, along with the workshop, you will get a printable download of a weekly sheet that has my workout broke down. I train upper body in every single workout, and then every workout I train legs, but I have a whole list of the exercises that I do to help you create your document so that you can optimize your workout routine. You will get a printable download in the workshop. I will cover how I use my document. I will walk you through step-by-step -step how I track my workouts so that it holds me accountable. It's a big key to success. I highly encourage you take advantage of this workshop. Another recommendation if you do participate in the workshop is taking the replay of a workshop that I did recently on building your workout routine. So there's a difference. Building your workout routine talks about what exercises you're going to do. The workshop that I'm hosting Friday is a great complement to that because it's kind of the next layer. It's where I walk you through how you track everything and then how you decide what exactly you're going to do in each of those categories. So in build your workout routine or create your workout routine, you're creating what you're doing. In the workshop Saturday, we are building and expanding on that. If you didn't take the build your workout workshop, you're still going to benefit from this. If you have a routine and you want to optimize it and learn the art of holding yourself accountable, this workshop is going to be great. So recommend that you're there. If you can't attend the live at 11 a.m. Eastern time, no worries. Everyone who registers will get a recording of the workshop within 24 hours. Whether you attend it or not, you will get it and it's yours to keep so you can reference back to it whenever you would like. Also, the Time Block Masterclass that just ended, that ran the entire month of August, that is now on the replay tab. If you want to optimize your day by block scheduling, which I love, I don't have it in front of me, but I block my day and it keeps it smooth sailing. Check, check that out as well. The replay link will be in the description box below. So here we are in the first full week of September. It's, it's just crazy. So time is flying. The holidays will be here soon. And I also have a workshop preparing you for the holidays that will be linked as well and can be sent to you today upon a checkout. Uh, upon checkout. So thanks for being here and I'll see you Friday right here on YouTube and I'll see you Saturday in the workshop.